So I'm going to ask Pierre first uh, to talk about the two images uh, that he has selected and just why for him they are such important objects and what they tell us about the history of the Animalier Maestri of Murano. Pierre, over to you. People having done these animals for their pleasure, not thinking they were great works of art, but making them first for love for the animals and secondly for, love, for the love of their profession in a certain way. So there is a freedom in, the, in these animals, in invention in them by great master and minor master, which uh, seduced me. Because, I mean, I'm there by, as a visitor in a certain way and a visitor who had the great pleasure in discovering many of these animals, which I bought, I don't remember where and when, nor do I remember for which reasons I bought these animals in a certain way. So, I mean, this dog, I have to confess myself immediately that I'm more a cat lover than a dog lover, but this dog is really very nice and looks a little bit as a cat in a certain way. The cats are so difficult to, to stylize, to capture, that in a certain way I have to say that I, uh, I'm still in big troubles in finding the real cats I would like, I mean, Murano glass, which I would like to own in my collection. So in a certain way, the animals were a sort of, of, of um, for them in a certain way, they were a little bit of a, a peace, a moment of peace uh, between great creation. Uh, and in a certain way, they have perhaps in these animals made, introduced more of their, their, their personalities and sometimes in the great creation, the great basis of an events of Murano.